What's up, I'm Missing Millions. His actual real name is Dragon, and we got our bro Tevin here with us, and it's the Missing Dragon Podcast, and I did a fucking intro. Heads What's up, up, boys? I'm just, I'm, I'm not Hello. actually missing. Uh, I'm, I'm here. I am found. <laughs> I did. Well, no, Missing is my name, Dragon. Missing is my name. I know, you just... You ruined it. You, you ruined the joke. <laughs> no, 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 no. I get it. But missing's my name. It's okay. Missing's my name. I'm uh... missing. I made um. I made some some sea themed dice for our D and D group. Uh, for the guy who plays the turtle, and uh, they're fucking really cool, and I really like them. And I just want to talk about those for a second. And that is all. Immediately after you said that, I, my brain went to like Sea of Thieves. Um, I can see them being Sea of Thieves. They're like light blue and green, and they're fucking pretty, man. I have them sitting here on my desk, but there are some pretty fucking dice. Did you get the other set done? Oh, fuck no. Dude, I, I've been having so much issue with those other set because the other set, she wants three colors, and for some reason, I cannot get gold to overpower pink. <laughs> like, like every like every set I make, like the one I have right now, I think I'm hoping, um, which once I get done with this, I need to go open it up. Um, I'm hoping it comes out, which... By the time we get done with this, it's probably going to be stream time, so I won't get to open them until night. But I'm hoping they come out pink with some golden marble in them. That'd be nice. Yeah, it looks really cool when I was setting up last night, but I won't know until after, until, like, till late tonight. See if it all meshed together. Yeah, yeah, it's either, it's either going to look like pink with some marbling, like some golden marbling in it, or it's going to look like absolute dog shit. There's really only those two options. Anyhow, uh, small talk. How is everybody this week? I'm dealing with uh, a Facebook hacker trying to sell a car under my name. I um, so I've been hiking that. every day, and I found a bunch of morella mushrooms. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's fine. Nice. It is. It is. Uh, dealing with a puppy still. Tevin, how's your how's your life? Good. Just been working. I dropped a pretty penny on a new toy for the kid today. Oh yeah, what'd you get him? Made some adult decisions. Though you know those like ball and rod things that they have at dentist office and shit for kids to play with. Oh yeah, those those tables that have all the balls and everything. Expensive man. Yeah, we bought one of those from Target today for him, and I dropped a hundred and fifty on it. Yeah, it's incredible how expensive those things are, man. But they seem to be like his favorite fucking thing to play with. Wait, a hundred and fifty dollars for like a exercise ball or No, you know those things at dentist office where you like grab a ball and you have it run down the course? You like take a bead and you have it follow like a, a like a like a bent rod? Yeah. It's bent and twisted in a bunch of different ways. Uh, it's like an uh, abacus. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I'm getting a mental image now. I I gotcha. Yeah, they're always in doctor's offices. Yeah, those things are like you'd look at those things and you'd be like, oh, 50 bucks. But like, yeah, yeah. Is your um? I don't know. I never I never found any interest in those things, man. My kid loves them. Yeah, I think he's won something there, right? I I think with kids, the more yeah. With uh, the more simpler it is, the more fun they will have with said toy. Dude, Dolly would never be interested in fucking anything for more than a day. Like, anything. It was, it's always like, play with it, drop it. So we've only ever got her, like, relatively cheap things, because we can never find anything that holds her attention. Besides her cell phone, and even that's like, it's only because it's a new thing every time she turns it on. This is what we got. <sighs> I'm scared to bring up Discord right now. <laughs> I'm always a little scared when I'm recording to bring up anything. <laughs> and then me being the devil on your on your shoulder, Emperor Emperor Palpatine, do it. <laughs> I'm just always scared of porn. I'm just always scared of porn. <laughs> um, where did you send it to, Tevin? The actual live stream chat that we have. Oh. 
if you're actually down in the live chat menu, there's the open chat thing directly to the right of it. Oh. On your sidebar? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I totally know how to work uh, Discord. Yeah, no, no, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I found it. I'm glad that I'm not the only, only one struggling right now with Discord. There. I oh. individually DM'd it to you guys. No, I can never find shit on Discord, man. So that's the one you got? Mm -hmm. That one's got a lot to it. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Kids, man. Kids. Um. I don't understand how parents can do it. Like well, I... we just lock them in their room and tell them that they're not allowed to move until we regain our sanity. Then we go play with them for until we're happy, and then we just lock them back up and never touch them again. No, yep. I mean like here's here's just how my brain processes like being a parent, like always like on alert, like instant panic mode and so you could like even touch something sharp but I just I c I couldn't handle it. Nah. I, it's just quick reactions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well you generally put everything sharp your boy, up. Your, your yeah. boy does not have like quick reactions whatsoever. They are slow and delayed. It's a lot of uh, prep. <laughs> yeah, being a parent's a lot about being prepared for for events. You got to think ahead a little bit. I find myself sitting shit all the time, time like all the time, sitting stuff down, going, "Ugh, can't put that there." Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, can, can we talk about how uncomfortable it makes me when I see like parents leave like just a knife on the counter, and I'm like. Your child could easily reach that, because, like, at at a young age, a child's more experimentative and explorative, like, explores more. So they're like, ooh, I need to climb this, and then I'm like, oh no. Yeah, it very yeah. much depends on the kid, too, and, like, how long they leave the knife sitting out for, if I'm bothered by it or not. Yeah. I feel like any parent, like... I'm very vigilant because we have our kitchen blocked off from Buckley, so we can't even get in there to get any like the knives or anything. Yeah, yeah. And anytime yeah. I do have a sharp thing or something like that out, I'm very vigilant on watching where it is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Cause like, more so if if I was a parent, like the kitchen would be on lockdown, uh, the bathroom because all the chemicals and I just. I would want my child just to have one big area that I can always keep an eye on, on them just in case, like, stuff goes down. Oh, yeah, limiting their space they're able to explore is a big part of it. Yep. Yeah. Baby gates are a lifesaver. Yeah, like, Dolly at this point, I don't really have to stare at her anymore. Like, she can kind of do her own thing, and I don't really have to worry about it too much anymore. She knows what she's not allowed to touch. Just kind of got to listen for the cues. <laughs> yeah. Got to listen gates. Baby gates are like stair stairs. They're my worst enemy. Um, this isn't my topic today, but uh, Tevin, you'll specifically find this interesting. Uh, Dragon, I'm not sure if you follow this or not. Um, did you hear about Moist Esports' uh, Apex Legends team? No. So nope. the majority, you guys, do you guys know both? I know Tevin, you know who Moist Esports is. Dragon, do you yes. know who Moist Esports is? I'm. I'm just gonna assume it's an esports kind of like group that do you, plays. Do you know who like, Moist Critical is? It sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure, like he used to go by person. Penguin Oz. Again, sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. He's I'm not drawing up Mr. Here. Charles White. Yeah, he's one of the biggest YouTubers um, that there are. Um, I have his background on my computer and everything. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of maybe something that me and you have seen together. I think you've watched it with me a couple times. Oh, that guy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I. 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 I watch his videos. Yeah. Yep. 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 I, um, no which to the dude, I just think of him as like really like casual white dude that's on YouTube. Yeah. 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 He's the white t-shirt, long-haired. Uh, basic white guy he he might be jesus but you'll never know um yeah. and, mm -hmm. and to his credit like 
just you know to casually like wear a white tee and just video cord for YouTube and like that's your thing. And I mean he he talks about so many different subjects. Yeah, well, I originally found him because he was a Gears of War creator when he first started. Mm-hmm. Ah, shit. Yep, he was a creator for, he was one of the bigger creators for Gears of War when Gears of War first became a thing. Um, and now he's developed into what he is now. But he has an esports team called Moist Esports, um, and they are becoming one of the more bigger esports teams in the scene. They're one of the best esports team in, um, I just said the name of the game. Apex. Apex. Um, they also have a very good team in uh, Smash. Smash mm-hmm. Bros. Well, they were projected to win the Apex tournament this year, like the big one. Um, mm-hmm. And his team's pretty much all Australians for Apex. And I guess American... Uh, what What would it be called? I don't know. Either way, they have to run it by, like, the American government before they let in, like, a full team of people, and they have to get put under Moist Esports' name to be allowed into the U.S. Customs, through Customs. They have to get visas. Yes, they have to get work they visas. In the U.S., yes. Right. Um, they've, they, got, they, they kept getting denied, so they hired some, like, the best lawyers in the field for this, and the lawyers literally told them, like, the only reason we think that they would be denying you is because whoever is dealing with your case doesn't like the word Moist. It's weird that you say that because every time that I hear you say the word moist, I just like picture old people smacking their teeth. Smacking I will say, and it, most of his teams are not U.S. teams. Yeah, I think the only teams I can think of where he has American players is his um, Smash Bros. players. Well, now I guess there's a whole like there's going to be like he's going to have to basically sue the U.S. Uh, customs because like. Um, they they're not letting his team through, so he had to drop his entire team to let them play. Like to like they were individually allowed in the U.S., but they weren't allowed to come play for Moist Esports. So he had to drop them as players for them to form a new team to come play. Good. Yep. So he, he he had to fire them all. He had to. He he had to for them to be able to compete. I mean that sucks, but I mean uh, they got a workaround, I guess. Well, no, not really, because they were his team, and he was sponsoring them, and he was responsible for them, and he was paying for the whole trip. Now they have to pay for their trips individually, and he can't be, like, a backer of theirs or anything without it being, like, illegal now, I guess, in some way, shape, or form. Like, he's still helping them out every way he can, but he won't get any of the profits from it or anything like that, which, like, he's dumped millions of dollars into this team to get them where they are. And now they're he basically just fucking the best him. format for esports professionals. Yeah, like he does not like so. Most of the time, an esports team will get sponsored by some major company. I mean, I mainly watch Rocket League, so you've got like Jinji, which is Mobile One Racing, um, a lot of the like, or Corsair and Razor sponsor a lot of them. And everything like that. The big thing about Moist Esports was he took no profit from any of their winnings. Whatever their players earned when they played, they got to keep 100% split between them. Yeah, I mean, he, team. he mostly did it for like sponsorships, right? Like just yes. for the. His thing was the only thing he makes money off of it from is merch. Yep. Which but now we can't sell the merch. Said, he said publicly that he. He doesn't make he doesn't recoup his losses from what he pays for these players to go play. No he one just does. wants to give people a platform to be able to go out and do it. Because he doesn't take any of their money. The other esports organizations actually make money off their players and everything, but they take a large cut of the winnings that the players get whenever they win. I thought the agreed upon thing right now is like almost nobody's making money in this space except for the people who host events. Like selling the tickets? No. The larger organizations are definitely making money. Like, um, the reason... If, so, FaZe dropped out of Rocket League recently because FaZe and Cloud Gaming, the, the old big names in Optic Gaming, FaZe recently dropped their Rocket League team because the team was not placing high enough for them to make profit off of it. So they just dropped the entire eSport as a whole. Damn, dude. 
Well, um, I have a thought. Couldn't he just, like, raise a GoFundMe for this situation? So he he already threw, there was no, there's nothing that money could have solved. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, okay. like he's already thrown. The only thrown... thing you could do at this point is just create, no. like, a public outcry for it. Make it a thing on Twitter and everything like that, just to try to get the government to sway their vote. Well, what I'm saying is, okay, so hear hear out my thought process here. Um, he had to basically fire them, and they had to make a new team, and so they're responsible, right, mm -hmm. for their travel or whatever that needs to be done. Right, which I think he's still paying a lot of that travel. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, but couldn't he just start a GoFundMe and pay them through the mm -hmm. GoFundMe that way? No, it'll still be under the his The problem name. is, is he can only contribute so much money before he's considered a backer. Ah, okay. So yeah, he he's throwing all the money at this he can. It's just like he's just basically getting fucked out of any opportunity to be the owner of that team at this point. Yeah. The There's government's... Agree to which... If he puts so much money towards them, he becomes a backer of it, and they're in the same place where they started, where his name will appear on their stuff. Yep. And since his name appears as Moist Global, some shit like that, they, they keep denying the name Moist for some reason. I mean, it is silly that they're denying it, but it is a weird... Like... Oh, it's I mean, a weird name, but like... yeah. That doesn't change the name, that, the fact that, like, if somebody's trying to immigrate to the United States that has the name, like, Saddam, that motherfucker shouldn't have to jump through 800 hoops just because of his name. Like, it shouldn't matter their name. That's that's completely subjective. Yeah. I mean, I think that's more of a people are too afraid and too... Uh, oh, I think uh, it's just stupidity. I don't have a better word for it. Stupidity. No. Well, like, it's mm. more so, like, people quickly judge based off of very little information like i mean oh no that's the thing too is they he sent them he's been dealing with this for six months and apparently he has sent them um 700 pages worth of information like he showed like he talked about how much paper he sent to them and he was like we fucking deforested a country sending paperwork to these fuckers like they didn't have a lack of information. They 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 had all of it. They're saying no for the sake of saying no. They're saying no to have a power boner. Yeah. I feel like it's somebody who said no because they didn't like the name Moist and they didn't realize what they were fucking with and now they just can't back down because they look it'll look bad for them, you know? Like optically. They don't have a reason for saying no anymore. Yeah, so now they're trying frantically to make up any reason they can say no and just trying to, like, be like, well, well, uh, no, I wasn't in the wrong. Like, they're just doing like, their best. Uh, PR training apology? Well, I think it's just, like, uh, a fucking per person working for the government who really doesn't want to admit that they did something bad. Like, something illegal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think he's going to be suing the shit out of them, dude. Like, legitimately, if they win this tournament, couldn't he sue for profits? For lost wages? For lost wages, yeah. Because, like, I know, I realize that he doesn't technically take the money from them, but I, I, I imagine that, legally speaking, he could say that he was going to, and he could yeah, probably... he could have a projected net income that he would have gained off of it. And it was, like, a $2 million prize pool? Mm-hmm. Plus merchandising? I mean, he could have a huge fucking lawsuit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, off topic a little bit. Off on um, on the what you're searching because I just had a wild thought. Like mm -hmm. when you when you have a Dr Pepper or a Coke or your preferred drink, like your drink, what is the one food that you're like, you know what? This goes great with the Coke. I also remind you to look at your source for that. That you it was a core. There, it was Charlie. a core. It was a core post. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Dragon, answer your question. Um, I legitimately fucking hate Coke, and I would rather well, just no, no, no. I, we're not, not like, drink it. Okay, you, you don't like Coke, but what's your preferred drink? Um, I mean, like, like your go-to drink. My go-to drink or my go-to soda? Like your guilty pleasure, like oh, Dr. Pepper. Drink. Okay, so in your in your opinion, when you're having a Dr. Pepper, what is the one meal that you're like? Oh, Dave's triple. This, from Wendy's, uh, Wendy's, Days Wendy's. Triple. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't eat Wendy's that much, so I can't, like, I can't relate. Oh yeah, a uh, a Dr Pepper from the Wendy's freestyle machine, um, preferably a fancy one. That's got some flavor to it. Um, you know, Dave's Triple meal. That's perfect. So is, is the Dave's Triple just like three patties and? Mm-hmm. Like- it is a oh, gross, so, disgusting amount of calories. Yes. So Dave's triple is like equivalent to Burger King, like Whopper and the Big Mac, right? It it would be like a triple Whopper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will say the one major downside of Wendy's, not that they're bad, they are just subpar, is their fries. See, I think they have the better fries in the industry. Their fries fail in comparison to other fries. Okay. Fast food fries for now, me. I'm I'm fully gonna uh, start a whole like hot topic. If here. Dragon is about to say that Rally's fries aren't the best fries in fast food, I'm gonna go over there and break his wheelchair. Nope, it is not Rally's. <laughs> the best fries. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he's gonna go break your fucking wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, woo! Well, I mean, wait, wait, wait! Before Dragon time. goes on this topic, Charlie, do you agree with me on that? Um. So yes, but they they've definitely gotten worse here lately. But they are still the best. They are still the best. Yes. I disagree full heartedly. The best fries. <laughs> no. The best fries is the golden motherfucking arches from McDonald's. No. Like you, you cannot beat fresh, warm, hot lava, potato goodness, some taters in your mouth, bomb ass fries from... I will say it's an unfair comparison for rallies to McDonald's because McDonald's does not season their fries with anything other than salt. Hey, man. Sometimes, I mean, I don't eat them with salt because I have to watch my sodium levels. Um, but, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of people would agree with me that McDonald's is... Oh, I'm sure a lot of people are wrong. I agree with that completely. Most people, I would say, are wrong. I I think... I would put Taco Bell's fries over McDonald's fries. Oh, no, God, dude. Taco Bell no, fries go no. above almost anywhere. And Taco Bell fries don't even look like fries. They're more like... They look like Rally's fries. Yeah. Dude, Taco Bell fries are one of the fucking best, and you can say that they're I'm, not, but they are. I'm agreeing with you on this list. So far. Uh-huh. All these are up there as well. Yeah, no, um, McDonald's fries are honestly going to go, like, neutral to me, like, on this tier list I have what? up here. Yeah. No. No, McDonald's and... fries are a gold standard to go up and down from. They're mid. Yeah, I fucking disagree with you on Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Plain. Those are the garbage fucking fries. Oh, well, you, with sauce. They're pretty fucking garbage on their own, I'll agree with that. But if you add okay. Chick-fil-A Any, sauce... Anything, any type of fries that needs sauce to be good is garbage. That's a McDonald's fry, bud. No. McDonald's, yes. McDonald's, a good McDonald's fry when it's like made. So right, one right. out of a hundred times does, that you get fresh. Does not need. Correctly not salted need fries sauce. from McDonald's. I've never but, had these. So I'm putting them in the mid. I, I am prepared to die on this hill. I've never had fries from Popeye's. Yeah, I've never. I've had fries from Popeye's. I've never had them from KFC. Or yeah, KFC. My bad. Yeah. But yeah, like I'm saying, you it don't, is unfair you don't to need... have chicken fries on this list. Yeah, I feel like that's cheating. You don't need um, sauce with McDonald's. Now, fries. Burger King onion rings; those are top tier. Okay. Yes. 
So yeah, that's the one thing I will agree with you because I prefer onion rings. I've had Popeyes. There's already. also that whole thing with Burger King where you go to Burger King and forget that they have onion rings and you just get fries, but then you get that golden fucking onion ring in the middle of them and you're yeah, like, ah, they... oh, you saved me. Yeah, they always do that. <laughs> Apparently I found one of my friends told me if you order, like, onion rings, the, they'll need the reason... like, to fry. The reason they only do it two times. They're they're instructed to do it if you don't know what to order. If you're like mm, onion rings, mm, fries, then they'll put some in there on purpose to try to get you to come back and order the other thing. But um, the reason it usually actually happens is because they use the same scooper for onion rings that they do fries. Yep, they all get poured out into the same thing. They're just side by side. Yep, so some onion rings creep over. Cross contamination. It's hmm? not really cross contamination. Cross contamination only counts if it's like something that can actually get you sick. Yeah. But, um. Right. Using the same same scooper to scoop the same food can get you sick. Mm. If, like... No, oh, yeah, but you could say that for fucking McDonald's fries, bud. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm do you think saying... that scooper at McDonald's ever gets cleaned? Look, I'm not. I'm not here to argue if the restaurants are clean or not. We 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 both know we don't want to know what's behind. So oh, you're Lord. invalidating your own argument here. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not invalidating my argument. <laughs> yes, you are. No, I'm well, not. Well, Dragon's I, saying I, that if you're allergic to onion rings, you could get sick if you ate fries. At Burger King, I think is what Dragon's trying to get at. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. But don't like... Don't be a bitch. Yeah, don't be a bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fucking allergy. Do you want me to tell you how the scooper at those places gets clean, Dragon? It gets dipped in the hot fucking fry oil, and they go, it's hot enough to kill the bacteria. Yep. <laughs> yep. Amen, brother. Um, Look, man. Listen, Dragon, I can't, I can't disagree with you more about McDonald's fries. They are so fucking mid that it hurts. Yeah, they are mid. They are, I will, Garrett, I will agree with you. They are the golden standard for what a fry should be, but that makes them mid. They're fucking mid. <laughs> They're the only... Th- Golden standard, what a fry should be. That's the one thing that McDonald's does right. I feel like you you're missing up or down from McDonald's. Yeah, fries. I feel like you're missing what a golden standard means. Their their golden standard means they're the best mid. It means it's the perfect platform to go up or down from. Mm-hmm. I've never went. I've never went. You know, not today. Uh. Oh fuck fries. no! You never, you never say no thank you to McDonald's fries, but yeah. you don't eat them and get a boner like you do from like fucking Taco Bell fries, dude. Every time that it's made fresh, and there's no hot. time I have ever gone out and said I want some fast food fries and went McDonald's. Let's also discuss this first, Dragon. You're fucking cheating because you only ever eat fries when they're made fresh. That's the best way to have them. Like what? what? Right, but you go there and say no That's salt on them. It is, because McDonald's fries, if they set for two minutes, taste like asshole. Whereas yes. Arby's fries taste delicious all the time. Well, that's because I enjoy my fries at their golden peak. We yeah. all do, but we don't all get it. Well, You're well, making a statement based on the absolute perfect condition. Mm-hmm. Not the, the average. average condition why, why for getting would you McDonald's not... fries. Okay, so why would you not want to eat... The fry at the absolute because I've got a kid crying in the back of my fucking car, baby. Yeah, dude, the fastest fucking food possible. Yeah, whatever the fuck I can get in my in in our faces as fast as possible, just fucking hit me with it. Again, that sounds more like. Do you think I'm gonna sit and wait for an extra three minutes for fries? I mean. No. It really depends on the situation. No. No. I feel no. like if your kid's throwing no. a tantrum, no. then sure, mm-hmm. or like, wet nope. himself, mm-hmm. or you know, change. Nope. But like, nope. I, I don't see... No. <laughs> you can I keep talking, see... but you're you're the only person in this chat that agrees with what you're saying. Nope. Nobody else here has three minutes to fucking waste on fresh fries, man. No. <laughs> that's, that's just, that's just sad. Yeah, that's it fucking is. America's a sad place to fucking live where we don't have any free time to wait on fresh fries. I agree. It doesn't have to be sad. It doesn't have to be sad. <laughs> it is, though. It doesn't have to be sad if you choose the, choose the right way to enjoy your food. 
No, we just don't have the time to sit there and wait. Sometimes you have to sacrifice... To be fair, I'm not going to McDonald's ever because I'm wanting to enjoy my food. No, I go to McDonald's because Dolly wants McDonald's. I go, to, I, I, I go to Burger King or I go to Wendy's. I'm going to McDonald's because it's fast, cheap, and easy. Yep. Like I said... Yep. Uh, everything with burgers and, and uh, besides their... Nick chickens and their chicken nuggets. That's a, I don't get anything else from uh, McDonald's because once I had uh, Burger King burgers and then after years of eating McDonald's burgers, it, like my taste buds were just blown. It was it's just night and day. But that's called MSG, brother. <laughs> uh. But to like I said, the fries is like here's my preferred order. Like for burger, I would choose Burger King. Wrong. For fries, I would choose McDonald's. Couldn't be more wrong. Still wrong. <laughs> and I don't know if I feel like it rallies, but I stopped going to rallies because they uh I don't know if they brought it back, but they stopped having the Swiss mushroom burgers at Rallies. Rallies has just gone to shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Rallies has gone to shit. But their fries have stayed peak. Have you had them recently? At, at the one yes. in Terre Haute? Yes. I, my work is 500 feet from it. I'll oh, stop by there. Oh, no, no, no. You go, to the, you go to the one on 3rd. I'm talking about the one on Wabash. Oh, no, no, no. The one on Wabash, you avoid at all costs. Oh, dude, that's fucking nasty, dude. You might as well be going to the fucking DQ next door to it. Yeah, dude. Dude, that one's so bad. Now, this is blasphemous that you have Little Caesars at C tier. You're telling me Little Caesars is actually good? Like, I actually would go to good? Little Caesars over any other pizza place in town, except for one. I would oh. go to Marco's before I go to Little Caesars. That's but Little Caesars. I, I agree with this take. Oh, like, Little Caesars. Like it is their really cost under- to taste ratio. Okay, is astronomical. Right, we're not talking about cost here. We're just talking about quality of food. I would I mean, still I go mean, to for, Little Caesars over any other pizza place. That's fine. You're allowed for, to be wrong. For the taste that you get at Little Caesars, it, it's and I have the inverse. Phenomenal. I have the inverse for Five Guys. Five Guys goes lower on the tier because of how fucking expensive it is. Right, which like we're just talking about. I'm not. I'm not putting these in rank of fucking how much they cost. Like cost versus like gratitude, because then Little Caesar would be S tier. We're just talking about how good's the food. How good's the food? Little Caesar should be higher than a C. It should be an A. It's a bad pizza, dog. It's a bad pizza. It's good. No, it is. It's not. good at the price, but it is a bad pizza. It I is think not Little bad. Caesar should be a B. I Little think Caesar's Caesar's is a good number. One hundred percent above Domino's. I will agree to put it up to a B. I'm not moving it from there. Domino's is definitely better than Little C's. No. They have fucking garlic bread crust at Domino's. Get fucking shit. Everything shown. is garlic. Everything at Little Caesars. I mean, my dude, thing their with crust Domino's is like some... shit flowers. My thing with Domino's sometimes, and this is why I feel. And like... also, like burger joints. Can we stop Call cutting Dragon burgers? off? <laughs> uh, like I was saying, I don't think Domino's should be higher. Only because, and this is where I get cut off again. Um. Anyway, uh, I don't believe it should be higher because, I to me, Domino's pizza sometimes is too sweet, and I don't like my pizza sweet. Steve, so Papa John's at S tier. Papa John's is the S tier. Papa John's is the best pizza place. Pizza Hut's is the worst. Fucking Chick Fil A at A. That's horrible. Chick-fil-A. Okay, listen, you haven't tried Chick-fil-A sauce, have you? Yes, I have. I have a bottle of it in my fridge. Okay. And you're going to shit on it? You have a, you have this company's main ingredient in your fridge, and you're like, they're fucking garbage. Okay, but you're saying they're food. Yeah, their food's you fucking Chick-fil-A amazing. Chick-fil-A up there because of the fucking sauce. Oh, yeah. because of their food. Yeah, Absolutely, like you, their food's bland. You, 
Yeah, like you mm-hmm. have to bring that down because this is not. This <laughs> no. Is not yes, it fucking is. Papa John's no, without not. fucking pizza sauce is not good food. No. Everything no, here not. has a sauce related to it. Charlie, it's not the same thing. That's it's like late. saying no, no, no. That's like saying that if you go to Arby's and you get a beef and cheddar, you can't count the cheddar part because their beef sandwich exists. So you should only have the beef sandwich. No, sauces are there for a reason. No. No. Well, now you're going back on your argument from the fry list, Charlie. Because on the fry list, you have McDonald's at sea because it requires fucking ketchup. I don't eat my McDonald's fries with ketchup, to be very clear. And I didn't make that argument. You did. You anyway. made it for the Chick-fil-A fries! Yeah. Anyway, here, here's, my, here's my point, Charlie. But this is the restaurant in general. This isn't their, like individual parts of their menu this is the whole menu and their sauce is on the menu pizza you have the traditional staple tomato sauce and then mm-hmm. the- but get rid of the fucking tomato sauce because we can't count sauces no no no, no 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 i we're not getting rid of the tomato <laughs> sauce and here's why okay because- fine no garlic yeah. butter on the side yeah. with your breadsticks either then domino's is fucking shit tier bud yeah, like, like, <laughs> I still put Domino's I, over fucking Little Caesars, dog. What, what I'm saying is, Chick Fil A. If you have to have the sauce to make your nuggets or chicken tenders like taste taste good, then your food has failed. Your the sauce. McDonald's nuggets have to have a sauce to taste good. The sauce. I, I disagree with you on this, Dragon, because I'm a sauce person. Mm-hmm. I'm just shitting on Charlie because of his decisions he's made here. The sauce should it's... not. Uh, no, this is the whole menu. Be the this is what we're measuring this on. I don't uh, care what your guys' opinion is anymore. I'm the one recording. <laughs> There's also the fact that you have five guys in Carl's Jr. at sea. Those are the oh, two best burger places. You're right. Or Sorry. Five guys in Carl Jr. Five guys is definitely better than Carl's Jr. Dude, I'm no, gonna, those I'm are gonna, both S tier for burgers. I'm going to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I until this very moment, like here now, I forgot Carl's Jr.'s was the thing. Like Wendy's, I, shit for burgers. Wendy's best chicken. Best chicken Wendy's is shit for burgers. Yes. Wendy's has the best burger. Uh, no. Burger King does. No. You're wrong there. Wendy's is way better than Burger King. Carl's Jr. and Five Guys, both well above Wendy's. Five Guys, I'm just going to say it, not that great. Very, very overrated. I think Five Guys is hugely overrated. Um, I think it's good, but I think it's hugely overrated. Yeah, like it's... No, it's, no, no. You go there because you know what you're going to get. A good burger. Yeah, you can go no, to Wendy's and get a good burger. You go there to make your own burger. The fuck are we talking can't... about? They can't bother to make a good burger themselves. Yeah, Five Guys is the subway of burgers. Yeah. Like I don't go to I don't go to Subway and be like I want I want what your I want that meatball sub that's on the wall. No, I'm here to make my own sandwich. Mhm. So, my, my White thing Castle is- would be so much higher on this list if it weren't for the after effects of White Egg- Castle. Without the after effects, we're in some A tier, S tier shit. But the after effects, C tier, dude. Wait, C tier. What happened? What happened? Like, White Castle like- sounds amazing till you eat White Castle. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, nailed it. Like, that. Mm-hmm. It's great beforehand. It's fucking horrible on your body, man. That shit just kills that is you. Three days of regret. Mm hmm. <laughs> that first initial bite is like. You know, that first initial bite is, man, I shouldn't have done this. Can I ask you a real question? I'm not even trying to be an asshole or sarcastic right now, but in a real way, Tevin, how, what do you get at, at Carl's Jr.'s Hardee's um, that's edible? Carl's Jr.'s Do they Hardee's? even serve yeah. food? Any of their burgers. Their burgers are top fucking tier, my guy. Dog, their meat tastes like fucking dog food to me. And I mean this in a real way. Like, in a they real, real way. Real meat. So does Wendy's and, and fucking Burger King. Yeah, like, Wendy's, this whole thing is, like, never frozen. When was real the beef? last time you had Hardee's burgers? About a week ago. Uh, the last time I had Hardee's ever is when I moved to Terre Haute from Boston, Massachusetts. About a week ago. Hardee's is top tier. 
I regret every single time I go there. I I literally I go to the one that's on the way back home um, at the Love's gas station. Oh yeah, because you're going to the one attached to a fucking gas station. But I've still had it in town, and it still tastes the same. It just tastes like fucking dog food, dude. Their meat tastes like fucking dog dog food. Nah. Dog food. Dog food. Wait, do they use do they use like like coal? No, they have says, the uh, like they have like the frame boiled thing, like uh, Burger King does. Right. Okay. Yeah, and like Burger King's fucking delicious, but Carl's Jr. Hardee's whatever it tastes like fucking dog food to me. And like, I'm not even trying to be like aggressive about it. I'm saying like legitimately, every time I eat there, I'm like, how the fuck is this place still open? It is so bad. Like, it makes me want to throw up. I mean, no, I, I really like, like Carl's Jr. Or I feel like Carl's Jr. is the root beer of uh, nope. burger mm-hmm. joints. And here's why. Don't do this root beer. You, you, didn't, you didn't let me finish. Root you're hurting, you're I, hurting I, root I'm going to agree with him on this because I fucking hate root beer. But just on the root beer. I, I'm literally drinking a root beer but, right now. So, here, you're not letting me finish what I'm about to say. So, root beer and mug, or root, or whatever, I forgot the other name brand. AMW? Ha- yeah, AMW, they hardly ever advertise, like, their <laughs> soda on TV. They don't need to. They don't and, need to. And <laughs> Harley Jr. is the same way. Every now and then, I'll see, like, one of their ads, but, like, I I think it's honestly sus, because it's a hot woman in very revealing freaking clothes, holding up the sandwich, and I'm like, Mm -hmm. I'm here for the food, not for the Dragon, I hate to tell you this, but Burger King was the one that started that. That's true. Look, if I'm I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. I'll I'll admit it, but like, Hardy Jr. is... But also, you're talking about seeing ads? I have not once in my life can I recall ever seeing an ad for a root beer. Oh, dude. Like, it's rare. It's very rare. Um, yeah, like, yeah, like, so to me, that's very sus. Because, like, yeah, I'm not. Oh, Burger King started that. <laughs> well, I suddenly, look. what, Carl Jr. You're so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad that they have to like Damn dude, dude I'm so hungry all of a sudden <laughs> I take back everything I fucking said let's go <laughs> and see you're not you're going to have I told you to do it <laughs> oh shit Fucking pop off, oh. dude. I'm about it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So to, me, so to me, that's why I say, like, their food is sus to me. Like, it can't be that good if most of their advertised... I don't know, Dragon. They brought me around. I, I really love Carl's Jr. <laughs> well, you see, Char- or Charlie Dragon, this is going off the basic premise that sex sells. This was just smart advertisement. This helped them. Though. It has nothing to do with the food. Oh, it has everything to do with the sex. food, dog. I'm starving. This, this is more <laughs> about food porn now instead of just food. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is just going off the premise that sex sells. But... It, and I'm buying. <laughs> I, I'm losing because I, I guess I'm not that thirsty, my fellows, but... Uh, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's not about being thirsty. It's no, about being hungry. It's but... about being hungry. I'm fucking starving, buddy. I need. <laughs> I need some Carl's Jr. <laughs> like when it's like the third freaking ad. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way. Hmm? <laughs> Bro, they're on the border and they're bringing people together. They're fucking company from God. They're fucking heroes! <laughs> God bless Carl Jr. <laughs> They're doing the Lord's work. They're solving racism. Uh, Got some heartburn after that one. 
I'm not a fan of where this is like escalating because I feel like my point got derailed so hard. What? Uh, what? Sorry, I I got distracted. I don't I <laughs> like that targeted advertisement. <laughs> well, what was your point? <laughs> Charlie Fucking... slowly moves Carl's Jr. to S tier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck! I can't breathe. Oh, I will say the only company that's hit fucking um, commercialism and social media better than them is Wendy's. Whoo! Because Wendy's be roasting some fucking people. Uh, Wendy's does some really good roasts. Are you talking about like on Instagram or something? Twitter usually, yeah. Uh... Twitter. <sighs> so uh if you reply i'll buy the whole wendy's menu right now wendy's replied prove it uh the guy sends a picture of a trash bag he says here's your proof and wendy says thanks for sharing your baby pictures <laughs> and he said why are y'all like this and the wendy said we try to keep it friendly but we are <laughs> here to get trashed by someone McDonald's post a picture of one of their cheeseburgers. It says, Today we've announced that by mid 2018, all quarter pound counter burgers at the majority of our restaurants will be cooked with fresh beef. Wendy's at McDonald's. So, y'all still use frozen beef in most of your burgers in all of your restaurants? Asking for a friend. Like, damn, dude. I want Wendy's, but my girlfriend wants McDonald's. What do I do? Wendy's replies, There's plenty of fish in the sea. Tweets has broken us their ice cream machine. Uh, McDonald's Black Friday need copy and link. Wendy's when tweets are as broken as the ice cream machine. At Wendy's, my friends like Wendy's, but I don't. What do I tell them? Wendy's apologize for being wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> if beef is never frozen then how do you guys keep it fresh Wendy's refrigerators <laughs> what is Subway good at underground transportation oh. oh why is your beef square because we don't cut corners who's running this savage page Three dogs in a trench coat pretending to be human. <laughs> I wonder if this person that does these, like, that's his job title on his, like, applications. Is, like, just uh, Twitter, Instagram, old guy. Or gal. <laughs> Going to In N Out, what should I get at Wendy's? Wendy's out. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Yeah, uh, I, I, I would pay real money to. I would pay to be the guy who runs the Wendy's account. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, that's good quality. Hey, uh, we managed to 